So Dwayne Haskins recently had his first ever game in an NFL uniform, and well, it had its ups and downs. I mean, if you take a look at some of his statistics, I mean, 8 for 14, which is a 57.1 completion percentage on the low end, but he had 117 yards, which is on average 8.4 yards per attempt. You know, that's pretty good. So if you were to just look at that, you'd be like, oh, okay, so pretty solid start. However, of course, there's also another problem, which is he threw two interceptions, one of which was a pick six. You know, I didn't think it was a disaster by any means. He's clearly a young player, and he made some young player mistakes and so let's just get into the film study and we'll start off with the negatives and then move over to the positives. So this first play, this is actually a relatively simple concept. It's going to be going up against a cover one hole and this is a great way to beat a cover one hole. The way it's going to work is they're going to have their receiver on the bottom half of the screen. Just run over to the middle, run a slant route right there. And then with your back running to the bottom half of the screen, this is a good situation because you're basically creating a one-on-one -on -one matchup with a halfback and a linebacker and since it's a matchup involving speed, this is a good situation for Washington. It's essentially a foot race at this point. Who's going to win the foot race, the linebacker or the halfback? So on paper, before the ball was snapped, that is where Haskins should look to throw to. So at least at this point, okay, good job, you're doing the right thing. And so I stopped this play right here because this is really the key point of this play in my opinion. Because if you take a look, okay, that linebacker is moving over to the bottom half of the screen, but it also looks as though he's about to turn his shoulders to make sure that he can keep pace with that halfback. So for Haskins, he's thinking, okay, great. If a defensive player isn't facing me, then I should throw it in that direction, of course, because that gives my own offensive player an advantage. It'd be a lot easier for the halfback to look back at this situation than the linebacker to. Ideally, Haskins might want to wait a little bit longer to make this throw, but if you look at the top half of the screen, there's pressure up there. Haskins has to make this throw now. So he is going to take a shot, but look at how Mac Wilson just stays with it and is able to get the interception, and then of course he returns it for a pick six. You know, college level players probably would turn their shoulders and not be able to make this play. So, you know, for Haskins, this is kind of just an example of him having to adjust to the NFL type system. Having to realize that even the worst NFL players are still college all-stars. That was a great play by Wilson for sure, but also, you know, Haskins, it could have been a better throw for one thing. It could have been a little bit further down the field. And also, that's just an example of a throw that you should take in college, but a throw that you shouldn't take in the NFL. So for me, on a play like that, that's just a rookie mistake in my opinion. That's one that you expect your rookies to make, and it's not one that I wouldn't really be too concerned about if I was a Washington Redskins fan. I mean, you know, rookies just make rookie mistakes. It happens. This next one, though, however, was a little bit more interesting. If we take a look, it's going to be a cover two zone, and what Washington is going to do is have their tight end run that route right there. It's a good way to beat cover two. We can get past the linebackers, but before the safeties, and if Haskins can time this perfectly, it can result in a solid game. However, one thing you're going to see is that Matt Flanagan and Haskins just completely aren't on the same page here. And, you know, given that it's their first time ever playing a game together, you do expect something like this to happen to a degree. However, clearly either someone ran the wrong route or Haskins just had the wrong route in his mind. Because if you see, I'll pause it at a certain point, Flanagan is actually breaking in right here, whereas Haskins thought that he should be just running straight. Even with that, the throw might be a little bit high, but it's definitely one that you could go up and get potentially. However, because he ran the wrong route, this just leads to an easy interception. To me, that looks like he ran the wrong route, as opposed to Haskins thinking the wrong route in his head, but it could be wrong, it's kind of hard to tell. Unless someone comes out and says, yeah, it was the wrong route, then we'll just have to basically, you know, wait and see what happens. But either way, the Redskins coaching staff knows what the problem was, and they know who to blame, so... We'll just kind of have to wait and see. Either way, it is a problem that they're going to have to look at improving on, but, you know, we don't know if it's Haskins' fault or if it was Flanagan's fault. Either way, I actually think the real winner of this preseason was Trent Williams because, I mean, that Redskins offensive line looked terrible without him. I mean, Haskins was essentially running for his life the entire time he was out there, and granted, I know Haskins was not out there with the first team, but still, there were some starters in the game. That's another thing about Haskins. He was pretty much running for his life all game. And there were some plays that were just dumb mental mistakes. Like, if we take a look at this one, that Cleveland Brown is the one that I'm going to want you to take a look at because look at who's going to end up blocking him. It obviously won't be the center or a tight end on the bottom half of the screen. They both have other Browns to take care of. So this now means that either the right guard or right tackle should make sure that they're blocking that Brown. And then, you know, the other one would probably be in zone. What I would probably say would make the most sense on this play is that you have your right guard be the one who's blocking that brown, and then you have your right tackle basically in zone so he can help out whichever other brown is in the most trouble. However, neither one of them is going to take care of him, and now it's just up to the halfback to make this play. Both kind of creeped over to the opposite side and basically parted the sea for a brown to run straight through to the halfback. I mean, if you are a halfback, this is a bad situation because you don't even have leverage at this point. You just have to try to get in the way of the guy you're trying to block. And meanwhile, if you look at Haskins, he doesn't even have time to look around and see what the pocket is in because you're assuming that one second after the ball is snapped you will still be able to look down the field and try to find someone who's open again tom brady would not make that kind of mistake tom brady would already be looking downfield and looking where to throw the ball to 
but for a rookie, you really can't realistically expect someone to just have eyes in the side of their head, and that's what results in a sack, and, you know, could have been a touchdown. You can't really blame Haskins too much for that. I mean, the offensive line just has to play better. Like, this one's another example. Really take a look at both tackles and how they're going to block, and more importantly, how they're not going to block too well. I mean, if you see, they're both going to lose their one-on-one matchups badly. Haskins has got to be saying, are you kidding me? Now I have to run away from these 300-pound linemen. But what I was impressed with is look at how he's able to use his legs to pick up some yards. I know people kind of made fun of Haskins for running a 5.0440 yard dash, but you know, again, I don't really care too much how fast you can run in 40 yards. The chances are your quarterback is not going to have to run 40 yards too often. Someone like Jameis Winston ran a 4.7940 yard dash, and yet he's clearly shown that he can actually use his legs to pick up some yards. You don't need to be Kyler Murray out there to be able to use your legs to your advantage. Haskins was able to accelerate very quickly there, and he was also just smart about the fact that he realized, oh hey, because one of the tackles lost their matchup so terribly, this actually does mean that they gave up containment, so I'm going to take advantage of that and pick up some yards. You could argue, you know, the one nitpick, he did slide just before the first down, maybe you want to slide a yard further, but at the same time, you do have to make sure you protect yourself first and foremost. So yeah, maybe he could have slid one yard further, but I'm not going to hate on him too much for that, because you want to protect yourself, especially in the preseason. But okay, enough of that. Let's talk about some positives because there was some positives as well. And probably most notably this play. It's going to be a cover two zone. And also you might notice that there is a black box right there on the screen. The reason I put that there is because there was an interview of Jarvis Landry going on in the background, but if I just leave that up, it's pretty distracting, so the black box kind of takes away that distraction. It's the preseason, so kind of just have to deal with whatever footage I can get my hands on for the time being. It'll be a lot better once the regular season starts. But anyway, so as I said, it's a cover two zone, and the way it's going to work is to have a receiver running a go route on the outside, and you know, this is a solid way to beat a cover two. It really can be. Depending on how deep the safeties play, you can hit that receiver after he gets past the flat, but before he gets to the safeties, and it can pick up some solid yards. I mean, you'll see after this ball is snapped and he'll throw the ball. I mean, look at what kind of coverage this is. This is definitely tight coverage. He is not very open at all, so Haskins has to make a good throw. However, he does make a very good throw, and even so much that the receiver was able to pick up some more yards before promptly fumbling it. So it was a bad end to what was a great play by Haskins. And those are the kind of things that Haskins brings to the table. You know, yes, he will make some mistakes. Yes, he will turn the ball over, but he can also make throws like that. That's why they drafted him. I mean, Haskins, I thought, made some great throws, and this one's another one where it's going to be a third down and five play, actually. It's a cover one hole, as you see on the screen, and they have a receiver running that route right there, which can be a good route to throw to. However, you have to wait until the receiver gets past the linebacker in the middle of the screen, so it takes a little bit of time to develop. And of course, that's not great because the Redskins offensive line had been taking a beating all night long. However, it still is going to be long enough for Haskins to try to make a throw, and if you look right now, again, this is tight coverage. This has to be a good throw. If it's too far to the top half of the screen, well then that Browns linebacker could knock the ball away. If it's too far high, it could not just be knocked away, it could end up in an interception. He has a little bit of room to work with low and towards the bottom half of the screen, so you know, Throw it there a little bit, that's okay, but look at this throw Haskins makes. Perfect throw, hits his receiver where he can grab it, and they're able to pick up the first down. I mean, that's a good throw. I mean, and again, plays like that are why Haskins was so hyped up coming out of the draft. And I do think that just because Daniel Jones and Kyler Murray had a really good first preseason game, that it kind of makes Haskins look not as great in comparison. But I thought Haskins looked fine. I mean, I thought Haskins looked like what you would expect him to look like. He made some rookie mistakes, but also made some good throws. That's kind of what we expected from him. I mean, he had only played 13 games in college. We knew that this guy was not exactly a fully polished player. I thought he was going to be a little bit more NFL ready than he has been, but again, we're talking a couple of plays and only a handful of snaps, so we'll kind of have to just wait and see how things go. One last play that I like, it's going to be a cover two man, and what Washington's doing is they're actually going to be running a rub route here, where they'll have their number two receiver run out like that, and then their tight end, who is already in motion, which already let Haskins know that it's going to be man coverage, will be running to the bottom half of the screen. And the fact that Haskins already knows this man coverage is pretty key because obviously Haskins would not want to throw against a rub route on zone coverage. This is only really effective against man. And so one thing you'll see is, okay, you know, it worked out all right. I mean, that receiver is definitely a couple yards further to the bottom half of the screen than his intended Brown, but of course, due to the angles, it's not a guarantee by any means you'll get the first down. And not to mention kind of the downside is that his tight end is going to have to look back and then make the catch and then look back forward and then be trying to get to the first down. That's the way this is going to work. 
So Haskins is going to have to try to make a, as good of a throw as possible because if he throws it behind that tight end even a little bit, it could make it very difficult for that tight end. But he makes a perfect throw. I mean, look at that. That gave his tight end a chance to get the first down, and that's what you want to see. A lot of times, being a quarterback is just doing your job. You know, everyone else, we talk about, oh yeah, you just have to do your job. But for a quarterback, that's also the case. I mean, sometimes you have to go above and beyond your job, but oftentimes you just have to do your part. Haskins did his part there, and he did his part on pretty much every play except for two. I mean, I wouldn't be discouraged at all if I'm a Redskins fan from this game. I thought this was about what I would have predicted him to do. We're literally talking about one preseason game. People are reactionary. It's going to happen. I'm sure if Haskins has a great second preseason game and then Daniel Jones throws two interceptions, everyone will be saying, man, look at how bad the Giants are. Look at how great of a pick Haskins was. You know, it's just the nature of the NFL. It's the nature of reactionary fans. You got to love it. It's a lot of fun. But again, don't be too reactionary. Haskins looked fine. And that's what I think at least I'd like to know what you guys think. And as always, thanks for watching.